Hello, everyone. This is your lady, Lady K, and this is What's the Team. I thank you all again for showing love, showing your support, and listening to me on www gsslradio.com by tuning in on our YouTube page, Lady Katrina Ministries, and just looking at all social media sites and voting for me for the National Female Solo Artist of the Year through the TGMEA.com website. If you have not done it, please do so before October the 15th. I would appreciate those votes. Keep them coming in. But that's not what I'm here for. We're here for What's the Tea. And I thank you all for tuning in on this 5 o'clock hour Central Time. Um, the topic today, you all, I'm not going to be before you long, but I do want to express how excited I am about this topic. Nope, it's not about the sex. It's not, nope, we're not talking about that because my co-partner is not here today. Also, Katie Owens, he is at work. So, therefore, we was able to capture him on this time. But, nevertheless, you got your girl, Lady K. Let's move on. So, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and pray us in, and then we're going to jump right into the subject on the day. So, Father God, we thank you. We praise you. We give you glory for what you're doing right now in our lives. Lord, we're excited about what you have to say on today. And, God, we ask that you open up our ears and open up our hearts that we may receive what you're saying. And God, we give you glory for it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, y'all, listen. So today I was um, just thinking about all the things that has happened in, since I've been back home in Louisiana. Shouts out to Louisiana. So uh, when I got home, there were some things that had took place in my house, some maintenance issues. So of course, if you hear the things in the background, that's the people working. But nevertheless... Um, it was some very frustrating things that were said to me in the process. And, you know, it, you know, people can really say some ugly things to you to make you feel bad, to make you feel like, uh, you're all out of whack and, you know, you want to respond, you know, you really want to get with them. You really want to tell them all, you know, and I'm not the only one who felt that way. You know, I'm not the only one that felt like that you had to throw in the towel because of, of your your stance with the Lord. You really just wanted to lay it down and you really wanted to just to say some some outright things to them. You know, really want to just, you know, like they say, lay your religion down and tell them a piece of your mind. Sometimes you don't even have enough mind to break off to give anybody. You can't lay religion down. Um, well, let me back up. Yeah, you can. You can lay religion down because it's, religion is a ritual. Religion, let me make the definition clear for those who say, oh, religion, rel no, religion, look it up. It is a traditional mindset or an action that you do on a regular basis. So um, that is... That is what we do on a routine basis. So therefore, when you when you're in a place where you have to uh, do rituals, you're in a place of religion. <laughs> but that's another topic for another day. My subject today is put a watch over your mouth. Put a watch over your mouth. And everybody know what a watch does. It keeps time. It keeps uh, um, you on point. And sometimes there's a, there's a device on your watch that it, it calls your watch to keep a timer and you can stop your watch. I'm saying something and ain't nobody listening. <laughs> you can stop your watch. What are you saying, Trina? When people attack you, when people say things to you that can really bother you, you have a process that you can stop. Take a time out. Not respond. 
case in point, let me go back to what my story I was telling you all, what happened to me, my my history of what happened to me this last couple of days. So I'm um, going to be transparent. My air condition, y'all know how hot it is in this area. It's hot. But anyway, the air conditioner uh, unit uh, for some reason froze up, but the wrong pipe froze up. And it has some sloth or what they call clogged uh, material in the inside that stop the water from flowing, which froze the pipe. So, of course, when you have frozen pipe, it has to unthaw, right? Yeah. That water has to go somewhere. But if it's clogged up, where is it going? It's going back into your home. And that's what happened. So it flooded my home, um, flooded all of my rooms where I had to have uh, the insurance company to step in place. So not only are they fixing the AC or replacing the AC, they are also tearing up my floors. So cause this costs money. This costs some, some major buckies uh, to do this. And yes, God, praise the Lord, I do have insurance. And so the insurance company has stepped in and kind of helped um, organize this this uh, crisis or this issue um so in the midst of that I you know with some conversations that went on and I was told that um I didn't I didn't I didn't uh sign up for this type of situation and I'm looking like uh, what is really going on with, with society where they feel like they, they can uh, be accountable for the assignment or the, be accountable for the um, events that take place? Um, if you asked to be a part, but then when you come into a situation of this nature, you then turn around and be insubordinate to the assignment. And that's what God has taken us on this journey on today. He said, I have given you an assignment to do. And you tell me, I didn't sign up for this. You know, well, you didn't have to sign up for it. The purpose was given to you before you were even thought of, before earth began, the second earth began. You know, before you came about, before Adam and Eve was even thought of, before God spoke into the atmosphere that let it be like you, your plan was already in purpose mode. So for you to tell God that uh, I didn't sign up for this, I, I didn't I didn't ask for this. You uh, chose me for this or you assigned me this, but I don't I don't want to do that. Then you. You're telling God that my purpose on this earth is is invalid. I don't want I don't want a part of it. Just go ahead and fire me right now because I don't want to be a part of that. And, and and in that nature, God is saying, okay, you, you telling me that I can just go ahead and rip you out the scene. I can just go ahead and take you all out the book. I can just go ahead and finish you right now. Since you don't want to do what I say. But God is not like that. That's what I love about God because he's nothing like man. A man will write you off in a minute, a second, a minute of a second. You, In fact, you forgot already. You're all forgotten already. <laughs> but God is so gracious and he's so kind and he's He's a, a forgiving God. They like, you know, let this the flesh talk because I know for real, for real, she don't want me to snatch her off this earth. I know for real, for real, he ain't really thinking straight because he ain't he ain't thinking about what he's saying right now because it's it's strenuous on you. It's hurtful. It's painful. Uh, um, you in a point of you just wanted to to set it off. So you're really not you're not putting a watch over your mouth you ready to tell that preacher off because he didn't front at you in church oops did i did i say that yes i did you ready to tell the sister off because she didn't talked about your dress because your dress really is not appropriate for the uh environment that we're in okay mm -hmm. you ready to tell her off because she don't buy your clothes she ain't paying your bills she ain't working for the money you spent on the dress you can wear whatever you want to wear you see how i just went there you don't have to put a watch there. Stop it. Stop the watch. Stop, stop your mouth. 
with the watch. Stop your mouth with the watch. And then think about what really is being said. What is the purpose of what was said? Sometimes people can really just rub you the wrong way. Can ruffle your feathers. I get it. You know, I get it. You know, somebody, you don't went out and worked hard for your brand new car, your brand new pickup man, and all of a sudden some crazy person, some person not paying attention, some, some what we call the idiot, quote unquote, has rammed them car, their car into your car. Just to tow your car up, tow your truck up, and now you ready to do something. Because you get out and you recognize they ain't got no insurance. Yeah, I said they ain't got. <laughs> they don't have insurance. So they leave you in a pickle. Now what you going to do? Or they get out talking crazy to you because you, you, you know, in the in their way. And, and they done, you done messed up not only their car, but you done messed your car too. Like, it's your fault. What you gonna do? You gonna go off too? You gonna, you gonna, you gonna tell them where to, where to go and how to get there? In my case, how, how did, how did I, how did I respond? I'm glad you asked. I took the lick. I took the lick. I took the L. Mm -hmm. I'll take the L. I preached that one Sunday. I spoke on that one Sunday um, at my conf at, at a conference that God had put me over. Um, it was it was the subject was I'll take the L. I'll take that loss because if I take the loss, that means I'll gain. If I put a watch over my mouth, if I stop what I'm doing and not react on what will happen, I don't react to the action. I don't add the re to the action. Then there will be no consequences uh, to my response because I'm bigger than that. One of the young children, uh, young one of the younger uh, children at our church, um, she made she did a testimony at church on one Sunday, and it blessed my spirit. She said, "I almost got into a fight with a boy. This was a girl. She said, I almost got in a fight with a boy because I accidentally, uh, my accidentally hit him with my book bag when I put my book bag on, and he uh, rustled up at me." And I almost got in a fight with him, but I thought about, I just got saved. That young lady had just confessed Christ like two Sundays prior to her, her incident. And it just let me know that <laughs> if a child can put a watch over her actions, what, why? why? Why adults can't do that? You know, that blessed me that this child, this baby in school just accidentally did something. And the guy reacted and she could have reacted to his action, but she didn't because she thought about, I'm saved. I have God on my life. I'm better than that. I'm bigger than that. I'm on top. And I don't have to respond like that. I can remain stressless. Because I ain't got to get in that mess. I don't. I don't have to be involved in those type of incidents. Because I put a watch. I put a stop to what could have happened if I had responded. So back to my story. I didn't respond. I didn't. I prayed to God that he would give me a way to let her know how it made me feel without overacting. Because I know my flesh. We know we know us. We know how we will respond. We know what type of storm we can be. Of course, my name is Lady K, a.k.a. Katrina. I know what she can do. My name means purified. In any means necessary. 
<laughs> but I know I have to, I have to subdue, I have to submit my flesh unto God. My flesh has to die on a consistency, on a consistency every second. My flesh has to die. Because if it does not, the purification process will be reckless. Y'all know Hurricane Katrina was a monster. They talk about her more than they talk about any other hurricane. They ain't talking about no tornadoes or nothing. They name all these storms. And the first one you hear about all the time was what? Hurricane Katrina. Well, I must not be a part of the dismissal. I'm sorry. But Katrina means purification. And if you ask one of the, any New Orleans person who really thought on the spiritual level, they would say, you know, I was in a turmoil when I stayed in New Orleans. But because of that storm, I was able to start all over again. I was able to get my life back together. I was able to move to a different area. I was able to go back and get something new out of this old storm. What I'm saying, y'all, is that my purification, my namesake, I have to learn how to process a situation without destroying nature. I don't destroy a person's mind because they, they stepped out of character. I don't have to step out of character, but I can purify the, the area. I can make it clean. And that's what I did. I was able to respond in a way where they understood that what they said was hurtful and that we can do, we can move forward by getting my house back together, by making sure that you do your due gymnasies, you do your part. And I'll do mine. And I just wanted to share that with you all. The, 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 the main lesson, if you didn't get anything out of what I said today, the main thing is don't allow the storm to destroy you. Move on purpose. Mop the situation. So that way you can fulfill a generation. I hope I said something to help you. I just want to leave this quote with you before I go. I want to let you know that the devil whispers every day. He's he's going to and fro. We know. We know. He, he, go, he goes to and fro. That's what God and the devil had a conversation about Job about. But in Job's situation, you know the story of Job. I'm not going to open that, that, that uh, book up to you. Go read Job if you don't know the story. But the devil was walking to and fro. God noticed that he was just roaming. Just roaming. And God called him. And asked, what you looking for? Mm -hmm. So he's whispering. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Like I told you, they hear working. But like I was saying, he whispers and he he talks to you in so many ways, in so many uh, uh, um, ways and directions. So when you hear him and he's talking to you, letting you know that you're not strong, that you're not able to withstand the storm, you whisper back to him and tell him, I am the storm. Because I move on purpose and I fulfill what I'm supposed to feel. In Jesus' name. Until the next time, you all, remember to listen to my music. Go to my website, www.LadyKatrina Ministries. Download the music. I got some new music coming out in ne next year, early part of next year, in the winter next year. So around the first quarter of next year, 2024. Thank you again, www.gsslradio.com for doing what you do best. And that's open your door to those who want to spread the good news. This is my song coming up next. I am your girl, Lady K, and this is What's the Tea. Bye.